guys welcome back or welcome to my channel so this is your girl Tawana of course and a while back I promised you guys that we'd be doing a sort of a joggers I guess the best sweatpants review and I didn't want to actually just try them on first because I bought them you know in my haul week videos so I went ahead tried them on for a little bit of time you know try to just feel what I like what I didn't like about them so today we're actually gonna be doing my top five joggers pros cons and which ones I think are you know the top three that you probably should have in your closet if you don't have it already. So, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this and let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with the ones that I threw on to start the video, which are my pretty little thing, gray marl joggers. So these are in a size small, I picked them up and they are the ones that have the little embroidery and I did pick up a lot of different pretty little thing joggers but I felt like these were my favorite just because of the fit for one and the color gray. I mean I think essentially if you're getting one pair of joggers it's going to be the color gray. So as you can see these ones fit pretty high-waisted and I love that about my joggers like I don't want it all the way down here mid mid rise or anything like that and even with the little embroidery because I know some people might just want a plain pair of joggers even with the embroidery it's pretty minimal, so you're not going to really see it from afar, if you can probably not really tell from here what it's saying. But again, I do like it. I would say the pros are the fit is perfectly, I guess, fitted for my size. I'm about 134 pounds regularly, and size small fits pretty nicely with, you know, the perfect, you know, fits you in the waist. Then it kind of comes away from you right here at your thighs and hips, and then the ankle. Don't mind my little house slippers, but... The ankle is just right where it's like not super tight on me, but it still gives you that proper cuff at the bottom. Another good thing about these joggers is the little inner drawstring. So pull it out so you can see, but you can, you know, tighten it as much as you want or tuck it in so nobody can see. And I absolutely just love this. The fabric again is super, super soft and just very comfortable. So you're definitely going to be kept warm if you, you know, it's on a chillier day or whatever you're doing running errands. You're going to be kept warm in these. And the inside is fleece lined. So again, you know, you're keeping all the heat, all the warmth to yourself. They are very cozy. I would say, you know, again, very casual. Throw these on, stay in the house or do a quick errand down the street. And I wear this like probably, I would say one of my favorite ones that I got from PLT that I actually kept. So these again would be my favorite. Oh, and if you want to hike them up, like, you know, around your ankle a little higher, they do fit pretty nice and snug. It's not going to fall down while you're moving or anything. I hate when joggers do that. So I would actually rate this about an 8.5 out of 10, just generally. I will tell you where it lies at the end of the video as far as if it's in the top three and just the ranking of all the different joggers. So the second pair I'm showing you guys is my ASOS Grey Marl Leggings. Leggings, <laughs> joggers, my bad. And I think it's from the ASOS Hourglass Design line. And um, this is, again, true to size. So... Pick this one up in a size four, size small US. And I did just want to show it to you right after the PLT one so you could see the difference of the, I guess, the shade of the gray. It's just a little bit darker than the PLT jogger gray. And you can also tell the fit is just a little bit more, again, I guess because it's from the hourglass range, a little bit more fitted, a little bit more, you know, form fitting, showing off your silhouette a little bit more. And this is. This is like, I feel like I'm not wearing anything on because it's so comfortable. Like it's that type of material. So again, it is gray marl. So you can probably see right here, the little, you know, marling detail going throughout the whole thing. The drawstrings on these ones are outside and waistband, just the perfect fit. Of course, you're able to tighten it as much as you need to or loosen it up. You've got the perfect, like coziest pockets ever. The length, I'm about five, three and a half. So the length, as you can see, hits me right at like the foot of my ankle. <laughs> And again, that cuff detail is not too tight on where it's like, you know, constricting your circulation of blood. I sound like a freaking scientist talking about constriction of blood, but no, seriously. I just love this pair of joggers. Again, very nice and form fitting in the back. And I think this is like the gray, when you think of gray joggers, like this is a standard gray that would come in. The fabric material is very, very soft on this one. So again, you know, um, I would say, is it fleece line on the inside? It is actually fleece lined again. So you're gonna be kept warm once more with this pair of joggers from ASOS. I do love a good pair of like just well-fitting joggers and this one might just be like, seriously, one of the best joggers ever. 
and for the price it was like about 25 dollars for the pair of these and asos always has discounts so you can get it for like 23 or less dollars this one even fits a little better like around the ankles when you bring them up you could feel just a little less i guess tight on the plt joggers but this one is like perfect like i could go running in this and it would go nowhere at the bottom and the pockets are super deep so you know if you got your keys or anything just put your hands in there if you're cold you're good to go overall because of the fit the material just how perfect these joggers are i give them a 9 out of 10 honestly like it's almost perfect almost perfect i swear to god if you don't want like a super oversized fit of joggers this would be the pair to get the third pair of joggers which are actually from our brand well the brand boohoo are these gorgeous camel brown a little bit more skinny fit joggers so i've actually had these for about a year now and um i did like them just because of the color i feel like a good pair of camel or just you know taupey colored joggers are essential again in your closet apart from the gray these are size four size u.s small so very true to size and it does fit really nicely as you can see the waistband again snug we've got the drawstrings on the outside with little metallic you know um holes where they go through and it's just super skinny all the way down even at the cuffs you can probably tell it's a little bit slimmer than the other two that we actually um uh, showed already front pockets and um i would say this one is not my favorite so i don't pull it out that much unless i'm like going for a specific outfit and that's only because it is so skinny and the crotch is actually pretty long like if i don't bring this all the way up here with a crop top it is so like ill-fitting look how long it's going to be in the crotch area let me pull these back up though <laughs> but um as i was saying they are a little bit more fitted and i mean it depends on what you're going for if you're going out of course you're going to want a little bit more of a form-fitting pair of joggers but for casual joggers i would not really go with this pair per se and because the ankles are so skinny, it's just really weird if you want to like hike it up or wear socks on the outside. You're going to have to like turn them all types of ways, like contort it to look, I guess, cute or how you want it to be styled. The material is pretty good though. Um, I would give it about a seven, I guess. It's not super thick, but it will give you a little bit of warmth overall. It would look really cute as you can see with like a crop top, some sneakers or sandals, whatever you're going for, but in the colder months, um probably not these to go out i would probably wear them in my house like i kind of do right now anyway the color that was spot on is like a perfect as i said camel or um sand taupe color so if you want a color uh you could definitely check out boohoo for some of these i don't think they have a specific pair still but i will link i guess another pair that are very similar but i think would fit a little better altogether. so i do rate these a six out of ten again just because the fit is just not the way i wanted it to be it's a little tighter around my waist and I like my joggers to fit me just a little bit fitted but still cozy and comfortable. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. So yeah, I give this a 6 out of 10 for overall fit. Joggers number 4 are actually not high-waisted as you can probably tell. But these are a pair of uh, Zara chocolate brown joggers. These are the most expensive pair that I got off of um, the Zara website which were $49.99. But it is actually well worth the cost because of the material. Again, these are the only pair of, like, I guess, not high-waisted joggers that I did get. But with the body suits, like, this is more of a dressy piece. You would have seen, like, how I styled it on, on my Instagram and also just on that Zara haul that I had recently. With the, I guess, matching chocolate brown top. And as I said, this one would be, like, my going out pair of joggers. For one, we've got a very thick and stretchy waistband. There's no drawstring, but it does not actually affect the fit of this overall. True to size, so again, this is a size small. And it just fits really nicely because we've got, you know, I said the waistband pretty good. And then going down, it does give us a good little gathering right down here at the cuff and ankle area. These stood out because one, the color, perfect fit. And then also just the material they use is very, it is really soft. I wish that you guys could feel this. And it's so thick, but still so stretchy. It has a good like stretch material to it, elasticity, that you're gonna be kept warm on a colder night just wearing this, your shoes, your boots, whatever you wanna throw on with it. Our pockets, you know, pretty nice. Not too deep, not too, I guess, short or, you know, <laughs> restricted. The gathering in the bottom just gives you that good like baggy fit as you would wear with your regular joggers, a little bit more of like a tomboy, but because it's fitted on the top, keeps it all very feminine. And again, if you do want to just, you know, hike up the cuffing, you can definitely do that. I would not do it with this pair of joggers though, just because again, the fit is a little bit more slim fitting, but hey, you can definitely do so if you want to. And it does make it a little bit more casual when you do that. 
So I would give this about the same as my ASOS joggers, which would be nine out of 10. Um, for different reasons, they do have different fits, different styles, you know, high waistedness and everything. But for different reasons though, they are pretty much up there, you know, different cuts and style, but again, but they are on par with just the best, some of the best, I guess, joggers that you could probably find on the market right now. And the last pair of joggers, I actually returned them already, but I'm just gonna insert a clip from when I tried them on, of course, in a minute. But um, they were the misguided 90s joggers, I believe they're called. But I just could not keep them because you're already gonna know since I returned them, they're my least favorite out of the brands that I reviewed for my haul week. Um, I did wanna still include them on this video because of course, a lot of people do misguided hauls, including myself on YouTube. So I wanted to give you guys just an honest opinion of that one and why I didn't like it. I did explain a little bit in my misguided haul, so if you want to check it out, of course, it's feel, feel free to do it. But if you don't want to, no pressure. We're going to cover it here as well. But I did get the 90s casual joggers, I believe, um, from misguided.com. And those are just so ill-fitting all over, like super baggy. Um, I think I got them in my regular size, which is a size small because they're already oversized. So I did not size up, but they're just still super big on me. So I was like, nope. It was like super high as you can probably see in my um you know little insert here um super high just the crotch air is super long as well so i just didn't like how that look on me the cuff was not snug enough around my ankle and it just it looked like pajama pants like the real oversized pajama pants that you just throw on when you don't give up you know what i mean the material for that one was super soft though um soft comfortable again if you just want it for a lazy day at home go ahead by all means and get that but I would not step out of my house in that if I was to keep it. There are drawstrings on there, all that good stuff, but um, I did get a tie-dye pair. I don't think that affected the fit. Um, if you're gonna get it, probably try to size down. If you're taller than me, it will fit you much better because the crotch is much longer, which I've noticed with a lot of, I guess, misguided style jeans, pants, you know, in general. But if you're at least like two inches taller, like five, seven, they would probably fit you much better than they looked on me. So I guess I rated that one about a 3.5, if even that 0.5, like a three out of 10. And that's why I returned them. So um, they do have a ton of different other styles of joggers on Misguided. Again, I covered one or two in that um, haul I did. So if you want to see that, check it out. Um, and they did fit much better. So yeah, don't knock them, but that style, the 90s oversized style, just be careful when you're buying from them. Okay, so now it's time to just rate our joggers. Um, the black ones are not included and I'm wearing. I just threw them on so I could show you all of these four plus our returned one to the UK from Misguided. I'm sure you have an idea already like how I'm gonna rate this because of the, you know, number of stars I gave them out of 10, but still just, just do this real quickly. So of course, uh, at the bottom of my list would be um, the Misguided pair. That's like no question there. Um, not recommended really for that style again, but try out their other just regular fit joggers. They fit pretty A1. In fourth place, we're gonna have our our <laughs> our Boohoo pair of joggers. Again, um, color lovely, a little bit more of a slim or skinny fit joggers. Um, not as I guess thick or cozy or just keeping you as warm as you might need in a fall and winter time. And then the cuffing detail is just a little too snug and weird looking, I guess, overall when you wear them with sneakers. So yeah, this is in fourth place from Boohoo. Drum roll for place number three would be my gray PLT joggers, which again, I absolutely love this, but I put it in place three because it's a little bit baggier fit at the bottom. So uh, again, I do like my joggers to be baggy, but still, because I'm a smaller girl, I still wanted to, you know, show off the little figure that I might, you know, be having. <laughs> so this is in place three for this. Great material, great thickness, waistband, everything though. So it's definitely in the top three. Um, again, this is the kind that, it's not a casual joggers, this is actually the casual joggers, which are very popular from um, PLT. This was just the um, gray embroidered PLT design ones. Top two, we're gonna go with, for number two, the chocolate brown Zara leggings. And this one is, again, they were ranked the same as the ASOS, but um, I guess I just chose this one because it's not, High-waisted, and I do love a high-waisted fit on all my joggers, my jeans, everything. But again, very good quality. Like, it's probably the best quality joggers I own um, from Zara. And the color, amazing. The thickness, 
this is gonna keep you like super insulated and even the cuff detailing so i like it has a little bit more of like a tomboy but still very girly fit to this pair and of course that leaves us with place number one being our asos hourglass design joggers so i put these in place one well the top spot because again if you're getting one pair of joggers i feel like they have to be gray joggers this is the quintessential gray and this hourglass fit like i'm not even like an hourglass shape but it definitely accentuates what you already have so i love it perfect fit just great material great great quality um just a standard pair of really good joggers so there you have it guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that you can at least get you know something that you like from this and be sure that you subscribe like comment what you what you like um all the links of course are below and i'm actually gonna be doing a styling joggers video so be sure to check that out on our next video so until then thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye